Good morning from Glen Torridon. I've got a week up here on my holidays again. Just leaving the car park behind us. It's pretty cool, it's autumn. So I'm going to be bagging a Munro called Rua Stack Moor. Now I think that's how you pronounce it, but my Gaelic is not perfect, as some people know. So what I'm going to do is follow a path for about half a mile and then cut east and cross over hopefully over a burn and climb up a really steep scree slope and join the main path up on Ben A. So it looks pretty windy and cloudy up there but I'm hoping it's going to clear a bit so I can get some uh, good footage. So right, we'll get going and uh, join the main path. Looks like the rain's coming from behind. <laughs> Only just got going as well. Look, waterproofs on. I think in a minute. It's just a shower, which has been forecasted all day. Yeah, but I'm hoping it stays mostly dry. Look at them clouds up there, just touching the tops of Benny. Oh, not far. Getting onto the level. On a bit flat now. Oh, falling over there. Then. The path I'm going is up there. And then I'm gonna pick my way up there somewhere. So once I get up there, I'll I'll, I'll have a look. Oh, I might grab a quick drink. Having a quick drink stop gave me the chance to have a good look at the scree slope. I wonder which way I was going to tackle it. off piece now I left the path just looking for a way up that path there there's a windy path that goes up I think it's more of a deer path than uh, a proper path it's not on the mat anyway so I'm gonna try and get up there onto the top of that ridge be like whatever so first of all I've got to cross this burn down here Waterproofs. And with the waterproofs on, I was ready to tackle the burn. Just looking for a way across here, as long as I don't slip and fall in. Well, I didn't fall in, but I did have a bit of fun getting across the burn. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Phew! Leaving the burn behind and the weather still a bit soggy and miserable, I started to make my way up the rocky slopey scree. And that's the sort of northeast side of Leak. That'd be a very difficult way to get up onto to the ridge. Okay, gotta get up there in that clag. It's gonna be fun on that scree. With the rain tipping down, my enthusiasm started to wane. And probably even more so when I hit the rocky scree. Looking at this stuff, I'd probably better stop into this heather. Tough terrain. But I'll stick to it. Ooh. Let's turn around, first sighting of Allegan. Over there. Stay With one step forward and two step back, I made a decision. Decided to get off that. Just one forward, two back. Probably end up back down at the burn before I got up there looks a bit easier up here now on this bit Whoa. try a bit of approach this way now instead of going vertical and whichever approach I took it didn't matter I still had to navigate through the rocky outcrops
tough. <laughs> Just having a quick breather. Very slippy. So yeah, I'm still enjoying it though. So I'm just gonna grab a quick drink and eat one. And there's where I came from the road. There's the path. After some quick refreshments and a good look at the view back, I was now ready yeah, for the final now. section. Rocky boulders. Look at that. Oh. Right out to sea. And with the lovely views up the glen, it took my mind off one of the most challenging climbs I have ever done. And without realising it, a cairn came into view and I knew I was now on top of the ridge. Yes! You beauty! At last! It's uh, clouds coming in but I'm up on the air now on the ridge, Just having a look at the Munro. Some people going up over there, so up there and along that ridge there and there's the summit. Yeah, just a bit pea soup now. And with the sun breaking from the southwest, I found a nice little spot to grab a bite to eat and waited for the tops to clear. Just looking at more of the Torridon Mountains in the far distance there and the path there in the bottom where I came up this morning. It's beautiful now. be expected Alan you are on a mountain now up on the Beelag and the hardest part of the climb left behind it was all fingers crossed I'll get a great view of the triple buttresses as I pass by Come on, Cloud, give us a break. Walking at a snail pace and the views coming and going, I realised it was a game of patience when you're at altitude in the mountains. Reaching the second part of the climb, once again the gloom started to lift. That's the first bit up of up. Finished with, there's a mountain over there, I'll put it on screen. I've done it uh, last year, so that's the target with the very steep cliffs, look at that great, can't wait to get up there ok, get going up on the plateau and the top's all nice and clear I got a view of my favourite mountain summit where I was last year can't believe it's nearly a year ago since I did that I was on the pinnacles over there, the crazy pinnacles stood on that edge there and it was quite airy to be stood on the edge of there, trust me. Setting off to pick up one of two paths, the Ruhrstadt Moor once again, the clouds came in and covered the Munro. 
you could say I'm cheating a bit, but to go all the way up there, to come back down, I've gone on this bypass, bypass path, can't say it, and I'm going to go around there. It's just got a bit of clag on it in the minute. Yeah, good choice of path. It looks like a lot of people do it actually with all this. It's fairly worn. Just looking back where I come from. <laughs> Look at that for a view. It's a Munro over there in Clag. <laughs> Leaving the shortcut path behind on the final stretch to the Munro, there was still a bit of cloud on the tops, but I looked over to the left and I got my first glimpse of the triple buttresses. The little locking that I filmed, that's probably about a year ago as well. Now within touching distance of Ruastack Moor, I could make out the massive piles of stones that make up the trig point with the clouds swirling around. Well, somewhere in there, well in there, is the summit and it doesn't look good. Might have to hang about a bit for some views. Just a little bit disappointing. We were clear earlier. Yes. Uh, there's the summit. <laughs> Well, here's the view at the minute. What a shame. But we can't do all about it. <laughs> so I'm just going to say Leah's over there, but what's the point? <laughs> oh well. I'll hang about for a while and see what happens. You never know with mountains and the weather. And while stood on the trick point with a flask of coffee and a bit of patience, there was a little saying that came into my head. All good things come to those who wait. And with the stunning views and I got what I came for, the clouds started to roll back in so it was now time to leave. Even though time was getting on, I took the higher path back and had a 10 minute walk over to the edge of the triple buttresses and took one last look. I 
and with all the hard work of climbing up this scree slope this morning made it all worthwhile and another enjoyable day in the Torridon Mountains. Okay that's it, just making my way back down this scree slope, looks pretty steep but I'm sure I'll be okay. So once again, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed today in the Torridon Mountains, I have, so hopefully I will get some more filming in, but always weather uh, depending. So thanks again for watching and I will hopefully see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.